New shooter coverage of IBC 2023 is sponsored by Atlas Lens Co., Atomos, Sennheiser, and B&H. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at IBC 2023. I'm with Paul from Hedge. Now you've been around for seven years now, released countless different products in that time, and you're still going. Um, what's new for the show? Oh, quite a bit, actually. Um, at NEB, we announced that we were evolving Hedge into offshoots. So we're, that's done now, and we're going to release that a few weeks from now. And some big news that we have is that we have a new post-lab technology preview, opening up a beta, and a new product called Drop-Off. It's also going into beta in the coming month. So those last two products you just uh, mentioned, for people who may not be familiar with them, just give me a quick run through. So PostLab uh, is our collaboration platform for Final Cut Pro and Premiere editors, or at least that's what it used to be, because we opened it up to all kinds of creative apps. So PostLab was invented to deal with COVID, with lockdowns, uh, to allow Final Cut Pro editors to work remotely. And that quickly grew into a platform that had all kinds of features. It had a collaboration with LucidLink. It had a sort of WeTransfer for LucidLink called Dropoff. And now post-COVID, everything sort of settles down workflow-wise. So we decided to completely rebuild it and focus it on what we need for the coming years ahead. So one thing we did, which is quite an innovation, is that we basically added bin locking to Final Cut Pro. It's called event locking. So it allows you not to work on a library, but allows you to cherry pick events. And others can see which events you're working on, and they can use other events in the same library. And we're spinning out drop-off out of PostLab into a separate service. It's sort of like WeTransfer, but only for LucidLink. And that's, uh, that's also coming later this year. Okay, and in terms of, of going forward, I guess it's a constant challenge coming up with new software and innovating. Uh, what can people expect going forward from Hedge? Well, it's, we have so many ideas uh, by ourselves and also coming from the workflow questions that we get at shows like these and emails that it's mostly, it's not about coming up, having to come up with new ideas, it's more like how can we accommodate to new workflows and changing workflows. A lot of people realize that going fully cloud isn't a solution, not using cloud is also not a solution, so there needs to be a sort of in-between and they need an easy way to shift between of fully offline or on-prem or cloud and I think that's the biggest challenge right now. So one thing that's for instance new in PostLab that really was shaped by that struggle of what does this production need is that we have a new version control system with, that with one flick of the button you can push it to online to remote collaboration and you can pull it back to local just as easily. And that's a big change, so you don't have to upfront think about or organize your whole production. Like, what am I going to do? Am I, will I be in the jungle? Will I at some point hit the hotel? Will there be internet in the hotel? So we want to make it easier to, to sort of move away from that stress of making that decision and just allowing you to do it whenever it's available. 